Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy James, and I'm back with another video. It is 6.36 in the morning. I just got off work. Um, right now I'm showing you my um, golf service station that I have. Also my tow trucks that I have too. Um, as you can see, some of my new vehicles that I um, purchased that was in my uh, other videos are on my gas station or in my gas station that I have. Also, that's my garage right there. I got some more cars parked right here too. It's, it's a few over here that I'm going to uh, preview for y'all in the next couple of videos. Also, I have cars right here too. Some of them over here, I think it's police cars, majority of them are. But, um, but this video that I'm about to make, um, I am here to show you some new additions to my collection. Yes, you guessed it. I bought some more stuff. Um, I would like to show y'all, um, excuse my hand. And um, hope y'all enjoy. I hope y'all enjoyed my um, other video. I didn't really get no likes or dislikes, so you know, like I said, I'm new to YouTube, so um, I'm I'm a rookie at this. But I'm not a rookie at what I do as far as collecting these um, you know, collector cars. So here we go. Um, the store I went to, uh, like I said in my other video. Yesterday morning, it's a Myers. Um, if you are from a different city or or a different country, Myers is a is a department store that's got like a supermarket in there, but you got clothes and appliances and you know toys and automotive stuff. It's just like basically it's like a it's like a Walmart, but it's it's the store that we have here in, in the state of Michigan. Um, that we usually uh, get our stuff from. Um, a little bit pricier than, than Walmart, but you know, if you're trying to find something to eat or anything that you need, that store has it for you. But um, anyway, I digress. First, model collector car I'm going to show you is. Hollywood edition that I've, that I've seen uh, today um, that I already have already. I got this will be my, my third one that I have. Um, it's from the Green Light Hollywood series and it is 1958. You guessed it. Plymouth Fury. Miss Christine. As you can see here, this is a new cast from 2019. Um, I already have a green light version of this car. This is right here. As you can see, um, I don't know. It's just, I think to me, the green light looks uh, better. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I think the, the auto auto world looks better than the green light, but I'm, um, I'm going to take this one out just to uh, show you more details. Also, I have this one too. I forgot to show y'all. Also have a um, Johnny Lightning version of this car. It has the back, the backdrop of the movie in the garage. I'm contemplating if I want to open it up or not, but um, I'll probably open it up in the near future. But it, as you can see, combined with the rest, rest of the cars. I think this one is smaller because, like I said, this is also, you know, Johnny Lightning. For some reason, they, they 116, 164 scale cars are a little bit smaller than the Auto Worlds and the Green Lights. So, enough talking about it, about that. I'm going to um, open this up for y'all so I can see up close, see how, how, how does it look. And I'm going to um, compare it to the Auto World car.
Now, if I'm boring y'all or anything else, uh, y'all can uh, send me a comment and let me know how I'm doing. Um, like I said, I'm a rookie at this. But here we go. <coughs> 1958, Fury. Um, they call it the Evil Edition of Christine. That might be something to think about. They might, they might have the civilian version of Christine with the clear windows, like, um, like the Johnny Lightning that I have has clear windows. Also, the green light. I mean, also the uh, Auto World has um, dark tint. But as you can see, both the cars are different. There are different shades of uh, red. Like this one right here, looks a little bit more, looks a little bit more like the car from the movie. Um, this one is a lighter red. Um, as you can see here, if it zoom, zooms in, but let's show this one first. My camera, camera acting crazy, but uh, it looks they look identical, but the green light has chrome bumpers, which the uh, Auto World has not. They're painted on, as you can see, um, side by side. See the fins on the green light is more dramatic than the auto world. And same thing, same thing with the with the white walls on this one on the green light. And the auto world looks different. And this one is different because this also doesn't have the hood doesn't open up. And this is like the third casting from Greenlight from uh, this Plymouth series that I uh, just bought. Like I bought this one first, and I bought this one yesterday, yesterday morning. In fact, let me move it up right here, as you can see. Like, um, this right here is a Plymouth, uh, Commando, 1958. This is a 1958 Plymouth Belvedere, and that's the Christine car, 1958. But I believe the Auto Worlds is 57. So let me check and see what it is. I believe it's a set, I believe it's a 57. Yeah, I think this is a 57. But, um... I bet I got this pretty unique piece, um, another car in my collection, and um, it's just to me, the Auto Worlds, the Auto World look better than, than this green light, even though, like I said, green light does have beautiful cars, but um, I, to me, this one is, is is overdone. To me, it is. I don't I don't know if everybody else probably had have a different opinion about this car. But I think it's overdone compared to the uh, Auto World. But um, that's just me. I'm, I'm still happy that I got it, and um, I'm enjoy it just like the rest of them. All right. Now I got another one from the Hollywood series. Um, this is one of my favorite movies. I love this movie. Also love the uh, the sequel. Um, this is Nat This is the uh, Natural Lampoons. Vacation. This is not the the, the, the second um, station wagon. This is the first one. If you remember in the in the beginning of the movie, he traded in his uh, old station wagon to get the newer one. So that's his old station wagon that they crushed because when he when he I guess he was trying to take the car back. I guess I guess I I believe he didn't want the car anymore because I guess it said it cost too much. But they end up 
trying to get his, he was trying to get his car back, and they, they uh, scrapped it off like that quick. But uh, this, uh, this is the car that was in the movie, the original car before the new one. And I'm also looking for that one too. So about to open this one up. Actually, this is my second. This is my second station wagon. I have a. I have two station wagons. I think it's a '55 Nomad, a black one. That's I got three Nomads. But I have a, a 1985 white LTD um, station wagon, which I'll show you probably later on in the future. But um, here we go. I'm about to open this up for y'all. Excuse, excuse my language, or excuse my uh, my voice. I'm kind of hoarse. Just got to work doing 13 hours. So I just made this video just to um, show y'all what I bought today this morning. Here we go. 1970 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. I'm glad I got this. This is a nice car, and it has the. Uh, I think the tailgate opens up. I think it does. I don't want to push it up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the tailgate opens. That's nice, isn't it? And this is seventy, so it has to have it has to have a big block under the hood. Let me open it up for you. It's gonna open it up. It's, I'm gonna open it up later. But this is a 1970 Mr. Cruiser. Um, I like the body style of this car. The lines on it is very beautiful. We got the um, full hub caps and the wood grain on the on the side of the uh, station wagon. Also, it has the Vista Cruiser it was always known for the window on, up top of the uh, on top of the uh, roof. Oh, this is a family holler back in the day. This was the SUV of the heyday of the 70s. Um, so this is a very unique piece. I'm glad I bought it, and um, I'm gonna collect it and enjoy it. Get it right there. Also, when I when I when I uh, buy these collectibles, I always keep the uh, always keep these because I, I, I like the Art Deco on the front and the back. So nice. All right, um, let me show you another car that I said in my last video I was going to end up finding and I found it. If you if you watched my video from yesterday, um, I had the Hot Pursuit series from Greenlight. As I, if, for a little recap, I bought this one yesterday. 1977 uh, uh, Pontiac uh, Le Mans Enforcer. I think it was a promotional vehicle from the 70s. And a 1965 Ford Custom that I bought yesterday. And this is the third one. 1978 Idaho State Police. Dodge Monaco. I actually found it. I'm going to open it up and show it to y'all. I love the old school, muscle, old school Mopar police cars. No, Mopar, Chrysler Corporation, everything from the 70s is my favorite, favorite. First, first love of all the cars that I, that I own. I love, I love Mopars. I'm to say, to say the least, is 
one of my first loves. So I got a whole bunch of Monaco's and Grand Furies. But here it is. 1978. Idaho State Police car. So nice. You see the um, Idaho State on the door. It got the... Um, at the uh, stripe on the on the, on the side of the car and on the uh, the hood. I like this car. This car is very nice. Got, got that uh, Dodge Monaco front end. Beautiful car, man. I'm glad I got it. There's some more I got to get. It's uh, the other two. I think it's two more I have to have to get. It's the um, it's a Seattle Washington police car, a 2010 Ford Private Interceptor, and the Memphis Police Department uh, 2011 Dodge Charger Pursuit. And um, we don't want to get this casting, but it's it's a classic Volkswagen Beetle. I've seen it. I've actually seen it this morning. I may get it just to finish the collection of this uh, of this uh, series 31. But these right here are the main cars that I truly are going to enjoy. And this is this is a 31 series uh, hot pursuit collection. So these out the way. So I have one more car to show y'all. It's from the auction the auction series that I um that I bought yesterday, and I found another one. Um, if I remember, this particular car was in this series, the uh, Commando Fury, and um, I just found another car that's very very unique, and I'm glad I got it. It's another Camaro. 1969 Yanko Copo Camaro. Now this is, will be my third Copo Camaro, but this one is a Yanko. I don't have no Yanko in my collection. I finally, I finally got one, and it's from the auction series from the from um, Green Light. So I'm opening it up. Show y'all how it looks. It's the last car, by the way. Ooh, these are the way. This is a very, very unique piece. And I'm so excited to have it because I never had a Yanko car in my collection ever. And I finally found one. And here it is. As in that distinctive Yanko Camaro uh, yellow. Oh my goodness. So nice. Uh, this is the car that I was saying. This car I was talking about in my uh, my last video. Uh, matter of fact, I had I still have the other car. I'll show you right now. now. If you remember this car right here, this is the car I bought uh, last week on uh, eBay. This is a 1969 um, Copo Camaro with the 427. And as I as I as I said in the last video, it was this guy named Yanko. Um, had a dealership in the Midwest. He bought a whole bunch of these. I think he bought uh, some Camaros, some uh, and Chevy Novas, and some other cars too. And when he got them, <clears throat> the car was in this condition. Right here, but when he put his little his little his, his little uh, style to it, he put his decals on it. As you can see, you got the Yanko, 
got the Yanko on the side of the uh, car with the uh, black stripe. You got the Yanko on the on the, uh, on the hood. And I think he put on the back of the car too. My camera, my camera acting right tonight. Yeah. So now I have three Copo Camaros. Um, before I before I go, I'm gonna show you the first. before I go. I'm gonna show you the, the uh, third one. So bear with me right here. Got it right here, by the way. Here's another one that I that I own. This is an orange one. So this would be a nice collection for my my Camaro series. So yeah. Three 1969 Copo Camaro, Copo Camaros. One of them is a Yanko, and it it looks very nice. My 1968 Camaro RS SS. So that's it, people. Those are the cars that I bought. I truly about to enjoy them and <clears throat> this will be probably my last video until uh, next weekend because I've got a busy 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 week um, like I said I hope y'all enjoy my collection and the stuff that I bought and I will be back with some more future uh, stuff I'm gonna show you some stuff that I that I previously owned for some of the stuff that I that I owned for a couple of years. I'm gonna show you some stuff, and I'm gonna still do some unboxing too to show you what a um, what kind of style of cars that I like. But um, like I said, I hope y'all enjoy my video. I'm about to go to bed because I'm tired. But um, y'all keep collecting, and you have a nice day.